I am Julie Heinbach. I'm a liver transplant surgeon at Mayo Clinic and the surgical director of the liver transplant program. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, a disease called NASH, which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Um, it's also sometimes referred to as fatty liver disease. Um, and NASH really represents um, the end point of a spectrum of um, disease, which is re um, basically related to having too much fat in the liver. The primary risk factor for the development of NASH is obesity and the metabolic syndrome. Um, NASH again represents the end of this. Uh, the disease typically starts with um, basically fatty infiltration of the liver. It then evolves into inflammation of the liver, which is also called hepatitis or steatohepatitis, and eventually it can progress to end-stage liver disease, um, which is basically cirrhosis. Cirrhosis can be caused by a number of different things. Um, in this case, we're talking about cirrhosis, which is caused by having too much fat in the liver. Um, the thing that makes this so important to discuss today is because of the epidemic of obesity, uh, which we are facing worldwide, and particularly in the United States. Approximately 60% of the U.S. population is overweight, uh, and more than 30% are considered obese, which is a category of being overweight or having extra weight on board that makes it more severe or more significant. I mean, you're carrying significantly more weight than would be healthy uh, for your height. Um, patients who or people who are obese um, have an increased risk of developing fatty liver disease and eventually NASH or uh, cirrhosis from having too much fat in their liver. And indeed, this is the uh, one of the most uh, quickly rising indications for liver transplant in the United States. It is not uh, the most common indication for liver transplant, but it's the one that's rising faster than almost any other diagnosis at this point in time. Considering this large number of patients who suffer with having extra weight on board, we worry that this is going to be um, one of the main indications for liver transplant in the future. At the Mayo Clinic, we uh, do have a, a team approach to treatment for this um, fatty liver disease, which involves um, significant support from dietitians, from hepatologists, and from the transplant uh, surgery team. And basically, we work very hard to get patients who have fatty liver disease and end-stage liver disease from having too much fat in their liver um, options for having a good long-term outcome. All of this includes uh, centrally weight reduction, which we uh, accomplish by a variety of different methods. Um, if the liver is scarred and will not recover and patients are suffering from their liver disease, liver transplant may be part of this picture as well. Um, other options include uh, potentially weight loss surgery uh, and other non-invasive uh, methods for weight loss. For patients that come to see us in the liver uh, transplant clinic who are uh, obese and also uh, potentially need liver transplant, uh, we need to consider um, the condition of their liver disease in order to figure out the optimal treatment strategy. Um, in some cases, um, patients are best served simply by uh, weight reduction and management of the other complications of their metabolic syndrome. In other cases, patients um, are best served by uh, weight reduction, but they still uh, require liver transplant. In some cases, uh, weight reduction prior to liver transplant may not be feasible uh, if the patient is severely ill, um, and then we'll have to deal with strategies for weight reduction after liver transplant. Um, all of these options uh, may be considered depending on the condition of the patient. Um, the key is to approach the condition from all sides, uh, not simply treating the liver disease or not simply treating um, the extra weight, but addressing all uh, components of, of the disease.